had launched officially. So we couldn't say much, it was a bit abstract, but now I can say very concretely and talk about what we've learned uh, in the UK. So Blick is building a pan-European free mobile network for 16 to 24 year olds funded by advertising. Okay. And uh, the way it works is Blick links young people up with brands that they like, and in return they get texts and minutes free every month. In the UK in particular, get, they get 217 texts and 43 free minutes every month. There's no cost, no contract, no nonsense. If you don't like it, if you prefer a phone bill, you can go elsewhere. Okay? After that, if you want to text and call more, it's uh, a pay-as-you-go operator with the f uh, cheapest rates on the market at the moment. So you can also text and talk more. And uh, sort of as a, I think the best way to introduce the idea is to kind of walk through how you'd come to be on Blick as a member, as a young member, and then talk a little bit about how the advertising works and, and the challenges there. So we are now live in the UK um, as of uh, seven months ago. Um, and just two weeks ago, we passed 100,000 members on the network, so 16 to 24 year olds. That means we're, that's the first milestone to become a youth media company. And uh, Blick is an interesting company in the way that it's, it basically has the muscles and capability of a telecom operator, but the soul and ethos of a media company. It's a youth media company. It sells communication to the members. It's invitation only, all right? So you need to be invited to join, much like early days of Gmail. But uh, so, and once you're on, you can invite others. And the way it works with the age is we actually authenticate you. So this is how it works. If you're 15 on the day we launch in your country, you have hope because next year you can be on Blip. If you're 25 on the day we launch in your country, sorry, can't help you. And if you join and you come on Blick, you can stay on Blick. Like the MTV generation, it can get older. Right? And so that's the model. And we really authenticate, much like you would have uh, if you were getting a credit card or that, and online. So you get a code and then you, you're, you invite. You fill in a little bit of details about yourself online, and then you get the SIM in the mail in one or two days. Put the SIM in, you're ready to go. You get that free allocation every month, and up to six messages a day. Up to, not on every, every day, you won't get that many. And uh, the messages are built around the most dominant form of behavior of 16 to 24 year olds that there is, is receiving a message, getting a message and replying to it. So they're all built around the inbox. And so it's text or picture messages, and sometimes they have a request for response. There's, uh, uh, those of you who have seen the Blick uh, logo, the mark, it has a little carrot symbol in it. Uh, it means insert here in typography, but when you see the carrot at the end of the message, it says now you can either reply or click through, and it doesn't cost you anything. An example that, uh, uh, of that is a L'Oreal ad going to a woman interested in cosmetics. It shows you a picture in a picture message of five uh, celebrities, and it says which of these celebrities do you look the most like? answer two, and then you get a recommendation that then you'd really like ever shade of Star Secrets caramel lipstick. Okay, so notice that it's all built around <coughs> conversation and dialogue. Our response rates are stable with over 600 campaigns run at uh, 29%. That's you. 2.9. So it's very high, and the reason is it's very ration media. <coughs> we initially thought that it would be slightly lower, but this is pretty stable and, and consistent. This is really, uh, advertising is the way we use to describe it, but what I would say is advertising doesn't capture quite what it is. It's a combination of information, conversation, endorsement, commercial communication that's paid for by a brand that wants to either raise awareness for what they're selling, like the records out in stores now, drive engagement, so you spend a little bit more time of time with the brand, much like in the case of the, the, the L'Oreal example, or also drive sales because we can have a click to call at the end where you go in and straighten book. book the. I'll give you one other example which I think is very interesting in this way. Is, uh, we sent a text message saying, do you want to hear, it's a UK author, it doesn't matter what the name, one of the top authors, do you want to hear an excerpt from the first chapter of uh, this person's book read by one of the stars from Skins? Okay. Then those that answer yes get in an MMS message the audio file of an excerpt of the first chapter and you can listen to that. So it's kind of promotion or uh, really giving some content up front and then taking you to the sale. If um, 
this is the way it works. Tim O'Reilly uh, has this great quote. He says, Doc Searles once famously remarked that markets are conversations. It occurs to me that, this is Tim O'Reilly speaking, it occurs to me that advertising could be conversation too, except normally it's a conversation with a bore or a drunk at a cocktail party who backs you into a corner and talks incessantly about his own jokes and laughs too loud. Okay, so maybe another way to put it is trying to do conversational advertising in a new kind of way. Uh, this, uh, where we're now in the UK, with 100,000 members on board, significant youth media, good response rates. Now the challenge is to launch in other countries, Netherlands later this year, and uh, then all the other major European uh, ad, ad markets. It, what I would say is the, the, the other challenge is to really get brands and marketers wanting to reach youth to understand that they can use mobile. And the way I'd say it is if you're trying to reach the 16 to 24 year olds, Blick is the way. And if you're trying to reach 25 to 45 year olds or others, in the, uh, then you can try display advertising or search on mobile, other kinds of setups. But if you're looking at this audience, the 16 to 24 year olds, they're not on the mobile internet yet in Europe, contrary to what Joey's description, which is uh, very interesting. What they do is they text, they call, they look at the watch and use the alarm clock. They have background uh, sort of uh, screen, screen savers of different kinds and change the ringtone. That's it. They do other things online. So we built it around that, that behavior. Uh, 